Good morning, Harmony and Consolidated. This is Mr. Kelwert again, coming to you from my backyard today. Um, you can see I have my headphones in today because it's actually a little built-in speaker right here. So I'm hoping that this will help with my voice that I'm outside and you don't pick up all the birds behind me and um, the breeze. So hopefully this turns out all right. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I'm here today to introduce you to your next artist of the day. And this artist's name is Andy Goldsworthy. And Andy, he is a contemporary artist. He is still living and he is 63 years old. And he comes from a place called Cheshire, which is in the United Kingdom. And Cheshire, I couldn't find like his exact town that he's from. Cheshire is more like a county, like you guys are from Rock County. Um, so I could find his area, not necessarily the town that he was actually from. Now, Andy, he's a sculptor. And he's a very specific kind of sculptor. He makes something called land art, or sometimes we call it environmental art. This means that he actually makes his artwork outside from materials that he can find. So here we see Cheshire right here. It's kind of by like Liverpool, which is a very um, well-known city over in the United Kingdom. We would be right here at the tip of my mouse in Wisconsin. So as I said, he is a, a land artist or an environmental artist. So he uses only materials that he can find outside. This includes things like mud, like flowers. I think it's really cool when he uses icicles, um, leaves, pine cones, snow, twigs, thorns, pretty much anything that he can find outside, he uses in his artwork. Now, because his work is made from things that are outside, a lot of times his work is temporary. Um, this means that his artwork doesn't last very long. A lot of times they only last for a day or two, if that. Um, so he has to be very comfortable with his artwork eventually falling apart or disappearing. And because he's working with these materials outside, he also doesn't use bring tools with him to make the, he also doesn't bring tools with him to make these artworks. He actually just uses what he has. So he'll use his hands. Sometimes he'll actually use his mouth, which you should not do. And then he also um, will look for things outside too that he can use. Like maybe he'd use a stone as like a hammer. So um, I'm gonna show you guys some examples of some of his artworks. Here is one that we see. It is um, made out of leaves. So here you can see he's done a circle over here and how he's changed the colors from yellows to oranges to reds to kind of some browns. It's kind of a nice change in value. And then he's also done the same around the roots of this tree trunk too. Um, similar to the one we just saw, this one's made out of pebbles, though. Um, really love his change of value in this. It goes from these dark grays to light grays to really light gray to the, almost these whites and then the open center. So once again, working with value. Um, remember, value is a change from light to dark or dark to light. Here we see one that he's made out of some um, fallen down branches and how he's kind of almost interwoven them. So he makes this large circle in the center that you kind of have this negative space is what we'd call that, the area where your artwork doesn't take up. Um, I do want to make it known that he doesn't just go out and chop down trees to make his artwork too. He just uses what he can find. He doesn't want to take away from nature. He's just trying to add to it. Um, once again, we see some trees this time. Um, he's actually created like a zigzag pattern in the ground using that. This has a really good sense of movement, kind of that back and forth, back and forth, um, using those logs that have fallen down. Um, but my favorite ones, as I said, are actually his icicles. And these are really cool to see him um, actually make. I'll try to find a video of this and put it in the comments for you. But he'll actually take icicles and break them down into smaller parts. And then he actually licks the end of them and then sticks the icicles back together. And what happens is those spots that he licks actually they freeze back together so he can start to create these really cool um, shapes out of icicles. Um, so this was not an actual spiral icicle that he found. This is one that he actually created by putting it back together. Um, really cool how it wraps around that tree trunk. And obviously, um, as I said, his artwork doesn't last very long. So this probably didn't last even a day, I bet, um, because how fragile we know that icicles can be. And then one more icicle one where he created almost like this star and joined them all at the middle. Once again, just licking those and then letting them freeze back together. All right, so that was Andy Goldsworthy. I hope that you guys enjoyed him today. Um, this would be a great one to go outside and work on. Um, you could go out and find things in your yard and make an artwork out of it. Be sure to send me a picture of it if you do. Remember, don't destroy nature. We're just adding to things um, from nature that we can use. All right, have a good one, guys.